वेलकम टू द वीडियो ऑन स्टेबिलिटी स्टडी टाइप्स फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल फॉर्मुलेशंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट स्टेबिलिटी स्टडीज स्ट्रेस स्टडीज एंड ऑल्सो द स्टेबिलिटी रिलेटेड स्टडीज और स्टेबिलिटी लाइक स्टडीज फॉर द फॉर्मुलेशंस टू इंश्योर इट्स सेफ्टी एंड इफिकसी and in this signal video you will know regarding the different studies so stability studies are of different types formal stability studies these are generally carried out at different conditions to have the shelf life of or expiry period of the formulation formal stability study involve storage of the formulation samples at accelerated condition intermediate condition and long term condition stress testing or force degradation studies or uh, also sometime the open exposure studies are carried out photo stability studies then moisture uptake studies or moisture stability studies or you can remember it like hygroscopicity studies then freeze thaw stability studies in use stability studies stability studies for reconstituted products package stability studies hold time stability studies polymorphism stability studies or the polymorphic stability studies and any other study which is product specific and as required by the product so stability studies for the pharmaceutical formulations are carried out to ensure the quality safety and efficacy it assess the shelf life quality safety efficacy of the pharmaceutical formulations over the period of time and importance of stability studies is to ensure the product meets standards throughout its shelf life it remains stable it is able to give the same quality throughout the shelf life and it helps in determining the storage conditions and packaging requirements so this is the main reason for stability studies and why stability studies is required accelerated stability studies are performed to predict the shelf life using elevated temperature and humidity 40 degree celsius and 75% rh is the condition and the time period is 6 month and after having the data you can extrapolate the product stability under standard conditions so this is accelerated stability study then intermediate stability studies are performed to address the significant changes observed in accelerated studies so if you have any significant change impurity generation assay or potency loss or failure of dissolution then you can go to the data of intermediate studies and the conditions are 30 degree celsius temperature and 65% rh these studies can be done for 12 months or longer and this provides the data to refine the shelf life and storage conditions then long term stability studies are performed to assess the stability under recommended storage conditions over time the recommended storage condition guides for the long term stability condition if product is required to be stored at 25 degree celsius then the long term stability condition will be 25 degree celsius and 60% rh the period will be 12 months or to 24 months or longer and this long term stability study confirms the product's shelf life and stability profile it is also known as real time stability then force degradation studies or stress studies these are the studies performed to understand the degradation mechanism and identify the degradation products also these studies are performed to validate the analytical method and test the analytical methods whether these are stability indicating or not 
the conditions are different for stress testing like exposure to heat light oxidation acidic condition basic conditions and nowadays uh, the metal ion are also used uh, as metal ion induced uh, force degradation and this study helps to have the stability indicating methods and also help to confirm the packaging requirements photostability studies are used or the purpose of photostability study is to evaluate the effect of light exposure on to the drug substance and the drug product stability so the stability study involves exposure of the uh, drug substance and product to the uv and visible light and these studies are performed as per the ichq one b guideline this photostability study identifies the photodegradation pathways and uh, protective packaging needs so if the api or drug product is found to be sensitive to light then uh, use the protective packaging like use opaque packs or black line bottles or amber colored vials or amber colored blisters moisture stability studies are performed to assess the impact of humidity on product stability sometimes the product may absorb the moisture and its quality may get hampered generally high humidity conditions are used to expose the samples and this determines the packaging requirements whether there is any requirement of uh, desiccant or any requirement of protection against the moisture also helps to understand the requirement or need of stronger packs freeze thaw stability studies are performed for the liquid type of formulations to assess stability under repeated temperature fluctuations like cold or heat so cycles freeze thaw study st stability study cycles are performed between minus 20 degree celsius or and room temperature and this may be uh, changed as per the formulation so minus 20 degree and room temperature or minus 20 to uh, 30 degree celsius or 25 degree or 40 degree that depends on the product requirement freeze thaw stability studies are generally performed for the liquid formulations like suspensions emulsions and uh, the formulations where uh, there may be a chance of phase separation or crystallization because of the extreme temperature changes and the outcome of this freeze thaw study is to ensure the product integrity during transportation and storage sometime during transportation uh, the temperature fluctuation may happen so this study indicates the effect of those temperature fluctuations. In use, the stability studies are performed to evaluate the stability during the intended period of use. So, actual use uh, conditions are simulated to have the data for in use stability study and assess exposure to the air temperature or light during the dispensing. This study confirms stability of multi-dose or reconstituted products under opening and use. Stability studies for reconstituted products are performed to assess the stability of products under re after reconstitution. So many of the antibiotic formulations are there which are required to be mixed with the water and then used. This study evaluates reconstituted product under recommended storage conditions and it ensures the efficacy and safety throughout its period of use. Package stability studies are performed to evaluate the products uh, or formulation and packaging material interaction. So for this study, store the product under final packaging or in the final pack under various conditions and after getting the data, you can confirm the packaging provides the adequate protection or not. Then whole time study for pharmaceuticals. So these studies are performed to ensure the quality during manufacturing, determine the time limits and hold periods and to have the regulatory compliance. So to verify the uh, that the quality of the intermediate or bulk products is maintained during the hold period or uh, during the storage before the next processing steps, these whole time studies are performed. These are uh, done to establish acceptable time periods for holding the uh, material or bulk material or in process material between the manufacturing steps. 
so conditions may vary and these are product specific uh, the pack need to be finalized for uh, storage of the in process materials generally the actual manufacturing area uh, temperature and humidity is uh, the condition for storage different stages are required to be evaluated at which the applicant or manufacturer wants to have the whole time and the time intervals depends on to the uh, product stage so the whole time study outcome is uh, to establish the acceptable hold time and determine the maximum time material can be held or hold without uh, affecting the quality this study support the process validation and process control and the validation activities and whole time study confirmed that no significant changes in the physical chemical or microbiological properties occur during the hold times and if if the uh, whole time study data doesn't provide you the good indication for quality then there should be a, a critical instructions so that the whole time can be uh, given or uh, the instruction that the material should not be hold more than some time uh, after which the material quality can be hampered then coming to the polymorphic uh, stability studies so these uh, polymorphic stability studies are performed to assess the physical stability to evaluate the stability of different polymorphic forms of the active material or active ingredient or api or drug substance you can say and to ensure the consistent bioavailability because once the polymer change the solubility dissolution and bioavailability may get changed so this study is performed to confirm that the polymorphic form used in the formulation remains stable throughout the shelf life and ensure the consistent drug release this study is required to have the regulatory compliance and to provide data to regulatory authorities uh, so that it is demonstrated that control over the polymorphic form is there in the manufacturing and also during the stability so conditions are like uh, the similar to the accelerated condition and long term conditions as per the formal stability studies then stress stress conditions can also be uh, performed analytical analytical techniques like x ray powder diffraction dsc and ftir can be used to have the data on polymorphism and outcome of the polymorphic stability study is uh, it determines which polymorph remains stable under the storage and stress conditions and to optimize the formulation also this study avoids the unexpected changes and ensures no conversion or less stable form preventing changes in the dissolution and bioavailability so polymorph retention and polymorph conversion uh, testing is performed in the polymorphic stability studies for pharmaceuticals so this is the short video on different type of stability studies if you know any other stability study please do uh, comment so that i can also add to my knowledge and my understanding and also i can make some videos on to those stability studies if i have skipped any uh, point so these are uh, different stability studies performed on to the pharmaceutical formulations at different stages and on to the exhibit batches uh, to have uh, insurance for the quality safety and efficacy so thank you for watching the video and i hope you will get good information from the pharma learning index channel videos Please do like share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.